I walk quite a bit through London in search for hidden architectural treasures, inspirations, the path less taken. Today we'll draw this tiny house I have stumbled upon in South East London. I am Marcus Stelbaum. I travel, I experience, and I create. This is my art. Yes, the urban jungle can get you down. Warehouses surrounded by busy streets, 1970s buildings that look more like monotonous grey boxes rather than homes. Surrounded by even busier streets, perhaps the occasional winter blossom. However, much of London has escaped the bombing runs of World War II and a good number of Victorian older buildings have survived. Elaborate facades, chimneys, brickwork that is much nicer than it has to be. Pride in craftsmanship. Today I'm drawing a building that dwarfs in size next to its much larger neighboring houses. An oddity, something special. When I saw this place, I immediately wanted to draw it. Yes, but I do not just want to replicate the scene, I want to make it my own. So what other kind of surrounding, what kind of treatment can we give this little house? I am integrating what comes almost natural to me. Organic shapes that fill the sky in vibrant colors. To the left and right of the house, some deconstructed trees that echo the structures I am putting into the sky. Some repeating patterns that lead the eye across the canvas. Now the question begs itself, does this treatment improve on the image of the little house or does it become a reflection of Dante's Inferno? Or does it really make a difference? I guess beauty really is in the eye of the beholder after all. It also occurs to me that because the big buildings around the little house are now gone, we have lost the contextual size comparison. Suddenly the little house is not so little anymore. For all we know it could be enormous. Oh no, all the cuteness has evaporated. After you check out the finished piece, tell me what you think and leave a comment below. As always, thanks for watching. Thank you.